What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we are doing a mail day. Uh, these are all stuff that I picked up probably in the last like month or two, month and a half, I guess, since I moved. Um, and so all this picked up through whatnot, actually, which is um, we'll talk about a little bit about that. Uh, TCG player, eBay. Uh, but the first thing we're going to talk about is actually something got sent to me from a good friend of mine. Uh, first, we're starting off with a promo Charmander. I believe, I can't remember Chilling Rain or Battle Size, but this is from, <clears throat> I think it's like one of those single pack blisters that comes with a promo or maybe it was two pack i can't remember uh but a pretty cool charmander and since i don't buy a lot of those products it's definitely one i didn't have and actually looks pretty well centered maybe this is something that gets sent off to psa sometime at some point so thank you very much um even cooler uh one one product i didn't get my hands on at all was the marnie boxes um <clears throat> so it actually sent me one of each of the promos which is awesome uh kids you didn't know so this was like a for in japan they printed out or they made these special trainer boxes or something so like the first one had hop um marnie and the last one escapes me i can picture it, but i can't remember the name it was like the a really annoying one that became like the fairy trainer uh and then this was ultra shiny um or shiny star shiny v um which you know when when shiny fates came out first i had mixed feelings like oh wow they didn't include the marnie uh, which is going to be a huge chase card <clears throat> but then you know i feel like pokemon almost did something really great where they simply gave the card away as a promo in the marnie collection uh yep so my good friend also sent us one of these boxes and uh just because i did manage to get my hands on one so i was very generous and i've actually never seen these opened i feel like um sometimes when uh i can't manage to get product i don't watch videos i guess i have a jealousy or something uh so i'm not familiar with the contents like this looks like a okay yeah it is a box uh some sleeves and then the promos so huge thank you um to you it's off to the side uh, oh but actually just one kind of complaint about this product is you know i feel like they did everything right and then all they do is like print this into oblivion um where they just took you know chase cards a uh, chase card from a japanese set and like a very unique promo and it's like you know what it's not gonna be cash grabby and make people buy all this um shining fates to to get it we'll just give it his promo but then they just didn't print enough i've actually never seen one at any kind of store or anything like that so um yeah i feel like that was a perfect product to just really load up the shelves like right now you see all those like partner big uh, partner jumbo cards or like the toolboxes <laughs> that's how they should have printed this one but uh, all right i digress let's talk about uh whatnot so whatnot i do think it's definitely worth checking out it is kind of sticky uh can be kind of fun as far as like um good deals i feel like there are some good deals to be had um we gotta kind of keep a lookout for them and i feel like they the best deals are for kind of like more niche things less popular or like what most of the viewers are not looking for so what do we have here we have a some of the card ass stuff um spoiler we do have a psa video coming where i got most of them graded just missing the special promo so look forward to that but um so now i have to rebuild another set for the binder i think we have a star star me and star you in there we have a charizard actually uh this is actually picked those up from ebay so um shining fates we'll talk more about it like super cheap and uh yeah definitely pick up singles actually applies to everything but um especially for shining fates all right we got a detective pikachu japanese promo probably picked this up for a couple bucks um so whatnot they have a lot of like channels they do like these bounty things uh where you crack a pack for at a ridiculous price and you have a very small chance to win like massive prize uh i did participate in some of those and like i feel like when i won the auction it was like instant regrets like oh my god there's no way this is gonna pay off and i think like of the two times maybe i made it me like three times uh one of them i actually broke even probably but then the rest were like oh my gosh just got destroyed um but yeah picked up this empoleon full art and this is the one where i spent a good amount of money at that stab to pick up the bounty missed but we did pick up this urshifu v max rapid strike which definitely made up for it so <clears throat> broke even one time got slaughtered the other two um it's kind of fun to watch i don't recommend uh going for the bounties but obviously you get it and, you know you pick up a huge prize all right some shining fates here we got center scorch i think let's just open I, I'm, I'm guessing the um 
it's kind of like the evolutionary line and maybe some others but uh you know anything shiny fates you know i feel like maybe people are kind of over that set or the singles are so cheap that uh, i actually picked all this up for a really good price so sent to scorch i think there's gonna be another sent scorch later on picked up a, a nice gordivore ex uh, obviously i didn't open everything but this one looks pretty good shape um could send us off psa probably get a nine we actually have another sizzle peach shiny i bet this has a sense scorch as well but uh yeah some of these you know on some of the channels you can pick up like a couple shinies where i feel like if you just pick up two packs at let's say msrp so like 10 bucks and you get back to back shinies that's actually a pretty good pull uh but then when you pick these up as singles it's like a third of the price which is crazy so i'm happy to always pick up shinies uh you know even shining fates for you know a few dollars here a few dollars there a uh, bunch of sellers doing like some of the top stuff uh looks like we got growlith and arcanine pretty nice and slow poke and i think uh yeah looks like we got the slow bro as well one as well some huge shout out to richard omega probably appreciate this card I'm not familiar with what this is, so it is card ass, but uh, seems it's kind of like what tops is how they have, um, you know, some of like the people from the show and stuff like that. But we got Eevee, and I'm not sure what your name is, but a pretty cool thing to add to the collection. Uh, we do have, what is this, the greenback? Don't know too much about this set, I think sometimes they don't have the number, there's blue and there's green, but uh, happy to add a Jolteon, any evolution is always welcome. And some of these, like, less or more obscure things, yeah, sometimes they're just really cheap on whatnot. So, again, definitely worth checking out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This looks like some kind of game piece for some kind of board game or something. But Venusaur. We got the Ivysaur, green back, with the number starting to... We'll, we'll get the full set eventually. Another um, card ass. This is just, like, the all the Pokemon. Yeah, so I go by I want a turtle <laughs> on whatnot. Uh, Misty and Psyduck, and I'm not sure what this is. Looks like it might be the same, similar kind of thing, but yeah, just some random stuff on there. We got a base set two Pidget. Um, base set two, yes, even uh, if you're on a, a, a stream with a lot of people, you can still pick up base set two at very affordable prices. Uh, Beauty Fly, kind of random, let in. Anytime there's just like stuff that people aren't interested, I'm always willing to put in a bid. And sometimes they pick up some pretty good deals. This I'm not familiar with, but it looks like one of those Imakuni arts. But no idea what all this is about. And last, yeah, sometimes they do sell some high-end stuff. And if I feel like, you know what, that's about market price and looks pretty well-centered, uh, let's just pick it up. You know, it's a interact fun, interactive app. And sometimes there definitely could be some good deals. We got a Charizard that's, yeah, you know, I may have just leave it in this case, but um, maybe we'll send it off to PSA. And then we also got a graded one. This is DSG, one uh, new grading service that uh, some people and whatnot are using. And we picked up the Gen Mint 10. Um, I highly doubt I would do this, but if I was really wanted a PSA one, we could crack it open. It does look pretty well centered, so you know, definitely could get the 10, but we'll probably just leave it in this DSG um, slab because yeah, it looks cool. So that's all the stuff we picked up on whatnot. Again, if you never tried it out, I do recommend just you know dabble in it, and um, yeah, it is pretty sticky. All right, next let's go to some eBay purchases that these are all around Evolving Skies. So I didn't manage to get many of the pre-release boxes and didn't get to go to a pre-release. Uh, so I did want to add some of the promos. So we picked up a bunch of copies. Uh, some of them are still in the packaging as you can see and the others are just singles. Uh, one thing I didn't realize is that yeah, the print quality is not great. So all these are in KMC sleeves which means most likely they will not be sent to PSA or as of right now the plan is not to send them off to PSA. I feel like they all kind of just had some centering issues. But uh, either way, happy to add those to the collection, even if they just end up as singles. All right, and then we got, so Evolving Skies is pretty tough set. Uh, myself and uh, some of my patrons, yeah, it's been rough uh, going the um, Kraken pack. So the single route's still a little expensive. I feel like these were, um, you know, I think they're generally less or about $50 or a little bit less. And uh, so starting to pick them up, uh, I'll probably send all these off to PSA. This one's in a 
perfect fit. Oh yeah, pretty off center. I'm not probably a mistake to pick up this one, but I probably got a pretty good deal. And you know what? Definitely want one for the binder. But um, yeah, starting with the V's, and uh, we need the V maxes to come down a little bit as far as the those alt arts go before we pick up the rest of them. But we'll put you in the background. All right, let's go to uh, all these were from TCG Player. So difference between eBay and TCG Player is a little bit easier to order from a bunch of different sets, um, and but you don't really see the condition of the card. So Shining Fates we talked a little bit about before. Um, I think it would make a great binder collection. And yes, the Charizard might cost. I think right now I feel like I bought this for like 150, so not that bad uh, for a Charizard. And then like the rest of the set is surprisingly cheap. I, I think some of these are like less than a dollar on TCG Player. Um, and yeah, so anything in these sleeves, I'll probably send off the PSA at some point. But yeah, I feel like most of the Shining Fate set, including like the VV Maxes, less than five bucks. So. If you are into binder collections, um, you know, I feel like one thing about collecting, everybody knows, everyone's heard many times, is like buy singles is much cheaper. Um, but I feel like until you actually do it and then like you remind yourself occasionally how much cheaper and how affordable uh, sets are, you know, not immediately after release. Uh, once a, a set or two has come out, then things are just really uh, at good prices, probably at their lowest they'll ever be before they start ticking up. So picked up a bunch of stuff uh, for Shining Fates. And as far as unpacking goes, I still haven't unpacked like where the rest of my Shining Fates stuff is. So I'm not sure how close I am to finishing that binder. But let's talk about another set that's been out for a while. That is Vivid Voltage. Another set that at one point was really hard to get and single prices probably reflected that since then. In my opinion, things have really come down. So picked up, you know, a majority of the binder sets uh, all in one go. We have B, actually I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but we got both of them, both the rainbow version. This one looks like it is good enough to send a PSA, so may need to pick up another full arts. Um, another thing is like the rainbows, usually a little bit cheaper. Nessa, I probably picked up a good number of Nessa just to make sure uh, that can get some graded and looks like we did so we got two to send off the PSA and two rainbows look like these are right now slated for the binder most likely I only need one uh, so whatever one is better I'll send off the PSA even if it comes back as a nine that's probably okay and then Darman Tent yeah some of these uh, less popular Pokemon like hey rainbow rare less not a very popular Pokemon shockingly cheap um, so imagine spending like a hundred dollars on a booster box and your rainbow rare is this guy and it's just like well I could pick him up for dirt cheap on TCG player so again something everybody knows but um, yeah check it out you might be surprised or reminded what the price differences are We've got an opal golden bug Pikachu V max the chunky chew so Yep, um, you know, some cards, each set buys like one or two cards that is really expensive on TCG Player, so we'll just avoid that one. Uh, I think I did manage to, I bought a single uh, rainbow a while back, so I do have one for the binder. And um, yeah, so we picked up a bunch of these, looks like two are definitely good to go to PSA. And we have three that we could put for the binder. If I don't have anything to do with them, I'll probably pick out the best two and get those graded as well. Some Colossal V Max, we'll probably send one of these to PSA. Nurse Joy, interesting how this card will do, like, I'm not sure if this is considered like a waifu, but you know, a very iconic character in uh, the Pokemon franchise. A sword. Uh, yeah, even these shinies, prices are pretty good. And then we have another one of these, send off PSA, Opal, the Golden Monkey. Ah, trainers, like, ridiculously cheap. Uh, I'm not super in tune with the competitive stuff, but I imagine even like the good ones aren't that expensive i remember like when i picked up my quick balls i figured that one would go up i think those are still like 30 bucks so and the trainers just like really cheap uh leon very cool looking supporter i'm not sure of the full art one maybe that one was a little expensive <clears throat> some more trainers alistair another nurse joy for psa beauty another rainbow bug <laughs> others uh probably just picked up another one because it's cheap and then a cape and our last stack will be Battle Styles. And uh, it does seem like Battle Styles is rebounding as far as seal product. Um, 
I'm not sure what that means for the single market, but they feel like it's been long enough that prices are probably on the lower side. They probably can go a little bit lower, but I went ahead and picked up a bunch of stuff. Anyway, we got Karina. I don't think I got the full art version. Or maybe um, I, think I might need to put in a complaint where I just haven't received it. I'm pretty sure I ordered one. We got the Rainbow Karina, the Rainbow Cheryl. Uh, as far as quality goes, TCG Player, if you pick up like the chase card, most likely near mint, uh, it might be cons like it's good enough to be considered near mint, but might have something, whether it's centering, probably won't get the 10, but uh, less popular or less like chase cards, definitely they can come well centered. Uh, we got a Rainbow Apple, Coco, a bunch of Phoebes. So I picked up a few copies of that. Two to PSA, one for the binder. Uh, special energy, surprisingly cheap. Um, but you know, this is this is what I mean by whether it's a little nick or just horrendous centering. Um, it still definitely fits the criteria for near mint. So I find that uh, you know the super chase uh, near mint probably unlikely to be PSA 10. More trainers, Rainbow Phoebe, a couple copies of that. The Rainbow Corviknight, cool Pokemon. We got Bruno. And then all the all these forms of Urshifu, which we got one from Whatnot to also add to the pile. I'm not sure if that'll be PSA or not. It's more Urshifu Victini. But um, obviously, again, we're beating this horse dead. Like complete a full set opening packs would just cost so much money. Uh, I think all the cards actually like obviously when you buy this many cards, it does add up. So it's quite expensive. Um, but if you, I find that if you just kind of break it up, you know, make one purchase for most of the set you need for your binder, um, you know, four or six months after release, I feel like that's probably the appropriate way to do it. Another Ushifu single strike version, and then a mustard. I'm not sure if I have both mustards. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, this is just some stuff I've been picking up on the side. Eventually we'll get more serious about picking up. Actually, I feel like PSA stuff is too expensive right now. Maybe once PSA opens back up, maybe uh, graded cards will be more at a better price where I start buying graded cards again. But um, some exciting new videos to come in the near future. I basically got 300-ish cards back from PSA. So a lot of cool stuff to show there. So exciting content coming. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.